Update. Am I the asshole for refusing to buy food for anyone in my household anymore? Hello there. Since so many people were gracious enough to leave advice on how to handle this, I decided I'd give you guys an update. So I decided I wasn't going to get a mini fridge for my room, but I did get a little cage for the family fridge to keep my leftovers in. My ma thinks it's ridiculous but accepts it. My dad, surprisingly tbh, thought it was hilarious, and it made my sister really annoyed because she thought I was overreacting. As for everything else, I went to Target and got a storage box to keep my snacks in and put it in a safe spot, in my room. Many people's comments made me realize that my issue at hand was far bigger than my family eating my food. So at dinner I talked to everyone at once about how I felt towards their food thievery. My ma was immediately regretful, and I do believe that she feels bad. She offered to immediately replace the food that was eaten, but I said it was okay. I don't want compensation, I just want it to stop. My dad. I am not sure if he feels bad, but I did remind him that out of the two of them, I am the only one that actually leaves the house and works on their feet, they work from home, so I think that I am entitled to having my own food without worrying about it going anywhere. He seemed to have gotten the message. My sister didn't take it well. I'll spare the details, but it was a long and loud rant about how she doesn't eat, that much, of my food, and I was starting to annoy her. I don't eat as much quantity-wise as the rest of my family does. Apparently her logic was that since I'm not currently eating it, it should be okay for her to eat it instead. My ma tried to help me explain my feelings to her but she started yelling louder and stormed away. Her attitude is different can of worms for another day. In the end, I am very confident that that situation has been worked out. I am glad that I was able to successfully communicate to my parents about how I feel, and that I now have a system put in place where I can actually eat the food I buy without having to worry about someone else taking it. Thank you again, to everyone who left advice and pointed out what the real problem actually was. Fantastic. Just be wary of your sister trying to tamper with what you leave in the fridge now just to be spiteful. Food thievery in my childhood led to some very damaging eating habits that I'm still battling as an adult. My brother stole my food and candy a lot, my parents were genuinely trying and always made him spend his allowance to replace it and started locking up certain things, so I started overeating a lot so it wasn't there for him to steal. Still a constant and ongoing battle with myself to not eat an entire package of candy or cookies or a whole pizza in one sitting. I drink a lot of water and chew on food safe but inedible things a lot to keep my mouth otherwise occupied when food anxiety kicks in. Here's the link to the original. If she didn't eat, that much, of it, why is she bothered that it's not available to her anymore? If it was only a little bit, surely she wouldn't be upset that it's no longer available for her to swipe. That's wonderful, op. I'm glad it all worked out. If I may ask, what did you say at dinner to your family to explain your feelings about their food thievery? Ah I'm glad things worked out, sorry your sister is still super entitled though. Not the asshole. You're starting to annoy me, good. Now you know how I feel. You've been annoying the hell out of me stealing my food. The fact that you are annoyed by me telling you that you can't anymore shows that you that have some issues you should look into. It's not a good look. I'm glad you did this and handled it so maturely. I lived for a time with my 28-year-old nephew who was absolutely notorious for this. It was so frustrating. Nothing was safe from him. He ate leftovers, take out, entire meals. My mom and I made like 12 kinds of Christmas cookies to give away as gifts and he ate most of them straight from the freezer. My mom would buy snacks for my dad and they'd be gone by the next day. Luckily I only had to live with him for a month before I moved back out of the nest. Couldn't stand it. Make sure you hide your snacks in your room. Just a heads up a mini fridge in your room would be an, out of sight, out of mind, situation. Whereas a cage in the fridge will be a constant reminder of the issue, and it'll likely start to annoy your parents once the novelty wears off, they're kinda bulky. So brace yourself for yet another discussion in the near future. I wish you patience. Stay firm. I loved how you had to add your request, edit too, for people to stop suggesting you poison your family. Dot. Your sister sounds. Challenged. I'm not sure what the PC term for it is now. Your sister is just pissed that from now on she'll have to either buy her own food, or make it. I would like an update to the update when the sister is older and starts buying her own food and the father starts eating all of it. All due respect, but your sister sounds like an entitled brat. 
keep an eye on your food and your room even with your new measures in place. Her attitude towards it, the whole, if you're not eating it, why does it matter? Shit, is indicative of a hell of a major issue. She doesn't seem to understand boundaries. What does she expect you to do? Scarf down everything you buy as soon as you buy it? Get real. She needs to keep her hands to herself. Thank you for the update. 2 out of 3 ISNT to bad. Great job at handling this conflict. You were mature, respectful, and stuck to your guns in a reasonable manner. At least now you know that your sister is the most entitled culprit. I bet she'll go on to be one of those jerks who steals people's lunches from the office fridge. I'm glad this worked out. I do have to ask. What is a food cage that you have in the fridge? I had gastric bypass 10 years ago. Lost 100 pounds. I eat small amounts so I always have leftovers. I can't tell you how many times my husband will eat them before I get a chance. His excuse was, no one was eating it, or, it's been there for days, not true, usually one or two days. He's eaten the last of my expensive chocolate that I have one piece at a time, last slice of pie, cake etc. He has usually eaten most of the cake or pie already. I get so mad. At least ask first. He likes to use the last of the creamer or leave so little it's useless. Uses the last of the butter then when I go to make a sandwich it's gone. Err. A great update. I'm glad it worked out for you. If your parents are on board then hopefully your sister will fall into line eventually. You've made life a lot easier for her future housemates. Sorry to say but this won't be the end of it. Hey, I was reading through your posts. I am super proud of you for getting your new job and working. Having your food swiped while you are really putting yourself out there to start a new job had to have been so stressful. I'm so glad your mom and dad took it well, and even with a bit of humor. Your sister. She needs to grow up a bit lot. Dot. You keep doing you. Sounds like you've got some solid advice to go on, so I'll leave you with some internet mom hugs. Much love to you. Next up. Lock on your bedroom door. Awesome. Your sister need to be disciplined however. I would suggest a petty revenge. Slowly take her clothes and stuff until she stops. If she confronts you, tell her that you should be able to wear, borrow it because she is not using it at the moment. When she gets fed up, tell her that that is how you feel. Take money out of your sister's wallet. If she complains, tell her that it was just sitting there and she hadn't spent it yet so you should be able to spend it. S. Edit. Added the S because I was being facetious. Of course op shouldn't steal. I am going to imagine you placing the box in the fridge while reciting the, I'll never be hungry again, scene from Gone with the Wind. You did the right thing and I am glad it's working out. I grew up with two brothers in a struggling household at times. The constant, you eat now or it's gone by a brother 20 minutes, led to some seriously bad food habits of mine. And a lot of binge eating even now that an adult, and handle money really well. So I am glad you set boundaries and made sure you are okay. Link to the original post. Well if your sister feels like she doesn't eat that much of your food, then the cage shouldn't be an issue. I'm sorry you went through this. I have learned over the years if I buy something that I particularly want I hide it in my room. I have two teenagers that will eat through my kitchen in just days. Every once in a while they come and ask what I have in my stash. Your sister wouldn't be mad about it if she didn't actually eat your food. Your sister should probably get her own food if she thinks she deserves your food too. You know, the food you got with your own hard-earned money, lol. That's great. I hope all goes good with that. 3. I really don't understand why someone would just assume they can eat whatever they want. But maybe it's because I lived with roommates for 2 years. Now that I'm back home, I still ask my mom if it's okay if I eat her leftovers. She always says yes, and tells me I don't have to ask, but I'd rather ask than assume I can and she actually wanted it. Now I'm really curious to see what a fridge cage looks like. I'm glad your parents saw reason and decided to adjust their behavior. It is good to know they are considering your feelings, especially as you will likely need their support with your greedy, self-serving, inconsiderate, illogical, ignorant excuse for a sister. I hide food from my roommate. He eats everything. So I buy snacks for both of us and hide them. He very rarely goes into the kitchen and even rarer goes into the cabinets. The cabinets have been organized by me. So I hid the snacks or they would be gone. 
He actually was mad at me the other day because I brought up a favorite snack of his that I had hidden in the kitchen and he was like I should have told him that I bought it before and I was like, but then you would have it now. But he's also always eating things. One of his mom's gripes from when he was a kid and she was working, she would put her dinner aside for her and they could have the rest and sometimes her dinner would still be gone by the time she got home. So I make sure to hide things especially if I want to keep them. You just want it stop, equals you just want your family to respect you enough that you can clearly state what you need and know they will listen to you and do it. It's not about the food, I'm dealing with something similar right now. It's not actually about what it's about. It's about respect and feeling validated. Good job speaking up. Sounds to me like your sister possibly feels guilty, embarrassed and is manifesting that in anger, or feels like she's being attacked, blamed. Hopefully once the dust settles she'll be a little more chill about it. Good for you. You took the time to explain and hopefully things will change. Your dad and your mom seem receptive. Your sister is still a piece of work. Her logic of since you weren't eating it, then she could is just screwy. I would definitely keep the cage and continue to have the lockbox in your room. Your mom appears to be on your side and should be able to now chastise, discipline and stop your sister when needed. Great job of finding a solution and conveying your feelings to your family. Info. I'm confused by this whole situation. How old are you, and how old is your sister? People who take advantage get really upset when people they've been taking advantage of start to set boundaries. That's what's happening with your sister. Not your problem, and no, any food she takes of yours without asking is too much. Good work, op. I have a trauma as well. I once bought two packets of, special, chocolate buns, contained six each. They were almost always sold out and I spend a lot of my small allowance on it. When I came home from school the next day, my brother not ate just some of the buns he just ate fucking all. Twelve chocolate buns. Twelve in one fucking sitting. Oh boy I was so angry, and my mom made him buy new ones for me. He did. But the fucking regular ones which are significantly cheaper and a lot less tasty. Dot. I'm lucky that I can laugh about it now but boy back then I was so pissed. I'm glad you were able to effectively communicate with your parents. Hearing your story has helped me appreciate my family even more. We all know that we could eat each other's food, even leftovers but we always ask first. Even if the person isn't home, we'll call, text each other for permission before eating anything. Your sister's reaction is most likely a defense mechanism. She feels bad that she hurt you, and she knows that what she's doing is wrong. She doesn't want to feel that way, doesn't want to stop, so it's easier to turn it around on you than to take responsibility. I'm glad that you parents seem to be listening and are okay with you solutions. That's good but I think they need to keep an eye on your sister. Yes, teenagers are known to get upset over things irrationally and don't really enjoy not being able to do whatever they want when they want but the fact she is pitching a yelling toddler tantrum over not being able to eat the food just because she wants to with no regard to it not being hers is a wee bit concerning. It could just be entitlement, it could be simple kid laziness but it could also be something else if she doesn't act like this over other things. I'm glad you have a solution, but I suspect your sister isn't finished since she feels so entitled to your food. Are your parents going to do anything about her? It sounds like she was the primary culprit. Good stuff. Most people go ballistic when they are told to not do something. Made a great point, stood your ground and most accepted it. I take away that you buy your own food by your title, and that alone is merit enough to ask for it not to be bothered. Your methods of protecting your food, since you said you see literally the only one who leaves for work daily, is novel and a great way to express yourself. It screams, this is mine, I paid for it, don't think about it, your parents, thankfully, get it. Your sister, well, she could def be the biggest offender about it, since she took it the hardest. Still not the asshole, sister needs to get a grip. It was a long and loud rant about how she doesn't eat, that much, of my food. If it's not that much, why so long and loud? Nice to hear you guys, for the most part, worked it out like adults. If your sister doesn't eat that much of your food then she shouldn't worry about the lock. 